Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a, another handbag review. This is of the newest bag in my collection so I'm so excited to share it with you. If you are new here, welcome! My name is Alyssa. I have a blog called The Gals Guide and I just love sharing all of my handbags that I have in my collection on here with you all. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely don't forget to subscribe. So today I'm going to be reviewing my new Gucci Dionysia and this is in the velvet and the olive green color with the blush pink GG's which is just so beautiful um, it has the green gems in here and it has the um, leather on the sides and on the bottom which is awesome it actually stays quite clean I have had this bag for about three months and I've been wearing it non-stop so I have a good grasp on kind of the pros and cons so I'll be able to kind of talk about um, how it wears, how it handles, things like that. Um, I love the gun metal way more than I thought I would. It's very um, casual but chic at the same time. Um, you know the gems really step up the dressiness on this bag. Originally I thought that this was more of like a trendy bag than an everyday bag. However, I have been able to really wear this with a lot of different pieces. I think because the olive green and that nude pink color is very wearable, it matches a lot in my wardrobe. So I wear it with black, I wear it with gray, I wear it with tan, white, cream, all kinds of stuff, um, pink. So I really, really love this color combination and the fact that it is velvet. Um, this velvet on this bag is very matte and it's almost like not very fuzzy velvet if that makes sense. It doesn't get dirty really at all. It really hasn't picked up any fuzz. Um, it's very like matted down to the leather of the bag so um, it's more of like a suede-ish feel. Um, I'll try to show you up close. I mean it looks velvety but the feel of it is not as thick of a velvet as the Gucci Marmot. So I actually have the Wallet on Chain in the Gucci Marmot and the leather on that is a lot softer um, but it, it definitely picks up more like lint and stuff like that. So this bag I feel like is more wearable because it doesn't seem to be like just for fall or winter because the material isn't so thick, um, if that makes sense. Um, so I'll show you kind of, um, this is the wear on the bag. I did buy it um, from Tradesy, so I bought it pre-loved and it's in outstanding condition. I was a little bit worried because the velvet um, is, you know, not as easy to keep up or to clean, but I haven't had any issues with it. The leather on each side is super soft and it hasn't like gotten scratched or anything either. So I'm really excited. I'll show you. So it opens with that little button on the side here and it just pops up. And then I do, I have it stuffed right now because this is the bag that I'm wearing. So I'll show you everything that fits in it and then I'll show you the inside. Um, the only pieces of wear that I had on this bag when I got it was like a little mark here. You probably cannot even see it. Um, but then this is a little flap and it actually has a pocket here, which I really haven't used yet at all, but it's such a nice feature. Um, and it did come with like an extra little piece of the velvet, which is kind of cool. And then um, I'll show you everything that I fit in this bag on a regular basis, and then I'll show you the inside. So I always carry my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, love that. I have my mask, and then uh, my keys, and then hand sanitizer, my little Chanel pouch, I just have like extra stuff in there, my sunglasses from Key, love these. Definitely have to do a sunglass haul soon. And then I have two, um, I have a lip gloss and a lipstick. So that was everything that I had in there. I probably could also fit my phone, but this is the inside. So it's this beautiful blue, like aqua color. Um, and it's like a silk material. So it's just one big pocket. Everything just kind of gets thrown in there. But this is just such a great bag. I mean, it fits so much and as you can see even when it's not stuffed it really fully keeps its shape so it's very very structured um something i did notice is the bottom is very structured where it, it is not like hard 
where there's nothing in here like holding it down like it, I could squish it if I wanted to um, but it is sturdy enough where it does just completely stand up on its own um, and as well it doesn't have feet which is fine I mean I usually prefer feet but um, these little like pieces of the leather stick out so that's what kind of holds it up um, and it hasn't gotten dirty on the bottom at all and I'm kind of rough with my bags I'm not gonna lie so I really need something that's like gonna stand the test of time and I do think you know back to the style of the bag I think the style will stand the test of time because there are so many different versions of it now. I mean, the canvas is gorgeous. Um, there's a lot of different variations of this velvet. They have like a really pretty blue. They have a brown, black. The black is just stunning. Um, but I just really was gravitated towards the olive. Um, it's very neutral and kind of earthy and it just goes with a lot. And I feel like it kind of almost dresses the bag down a little bit so it can be worn every day um, but I also would wear it to dinner or, you know something like that so I'm going to show you what it looks like styled so I primarily wear this as a shoulder bag but you can also wear it as a crossbody so I'm five foot two this is where it wears on me um, it just kind of like hangs like right on my just above my hip um, so I really like wearing it here this is what it looks like and then if I was gonna wear it like the long way what I do is I just kind of pull it through like that and you can wear it like this and it kind of hits just at my like lower part of my hip if I wear it like that and then you could also wear it crossbody which is so cute um, so the reason why I pull it through the way that I do, um, is because it kind of makes this little loop around the, um, buckle and this actually keeps the strap up from like hitting the leather or the velvet, sorry, not the leather. Um, and somebody, you know, a lot of people will say like this chain can actually make dents in your velvet so I try to avoid that as much as possible if I do wear it um, in that variation so just keep that in mind it's not something that I've noticed like I'll show you the top it's not something I've noticed at all I, I don't see any dents or variations I mean maybe you do it's just something to keep in mind like when you're storing it like maybe don't have it pulled like that just in case but I haven't noticed any like issues with the wear of the velvet so I definitely recommend this bag I would say I would give this a 10 out of 10 just because of how easy it is to wear it's so lightweight you would think that these chains are heavy but they're actually very very light um, and I do think because of how many things that I can actually wear this with I would definitely recommend this if you are looking into the velvet. I think it's still very wearable. I mean, you don't have to just wear it in the fall or the winter because of the actual velvet itself isn't very thick or like fuzzy as if like it's just for winter. Um, so that's why I really like this is because it just adds some texture to an outfit without being too much um, and making it look like a winter outfit. So I love this bag and you know I have actually seen it on the real real I've seen it on um, rebag I bought this from tradesy and I got a great great price for it especially for the condition of it so I will link um, as many options as I can possibly find in the description box below if you have any questions about the bag please definitely reach out in the comments I love to actually respond to you guys so thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video